Hey everyone, welcome back to another Beamerzite video. My name is Rich, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the stomp test. Yes, that's right, stomp like the musical, or stomp with your foot. Um, basically, what I'm gonna be showing you here is in the E32, E34, or E36, and I think some E30s, there is something called the stomp test where you are able to test the diagnostic codes or find out what diagnostic codes are stored in the ECU of your computer. And the genius thing about this is that you're able to do it without a scan tool. Yes, for some reason, BMW engineers decided to incorporate this feature that you and I can do at home without spending any money or taking it to the service department. So basically how this works is you're gonna turn on the ignition with the engine off. Do not start it, start the car. You're gonna just turn the ignition on. I believe it's to the second position if your car has a second position um, right before it starts. And then you're gonna press the gas pedal to the floor five times in a row within maybe five or six seconds. Um, so I'll demonstrate to you how to do that now. And when, once that happens, you're gonna see um, the light, the engine light on the dashboard will flash. And that will flash maybe like once, a nice long flash to let you know that you've successfully activated that test. And then it will send a series of Morse code style flashing to you. Um, and then you'll be able to find out and sort of decode what uh, trouble codes are stored in the computer of your car. Now I'm sitting in a 1990 E32 7 series, which I just purchased. And if you watched uh, yesterday's video that I uploaded, I'll link that below or somewhere in the video here. Um, that's the car that I'm gonna be running this test on. And I actually forgot about this. I drove an E34 that I shared with my dad for many years. Uh, that was a, I think it was a 94 530i. And I sort of uh, totally forgot that the stomp test existed until I bought this car. And uh, I wanted to go ahead and check and see if any codes were stored. So uh, let's cut all the talking and I'll get into it and show you exactly how to do the stomp test on your vintage BMW. All right, step one, take your key and you're gonna turn the ignition to the second position here. So here is position one on the first click. And then position two is the second click, but you're not going to start the car. And I apologize, but uh, it looks like my wheel is squeaking a little bit. Uh, that's the blower motor uh, somewhere up in here. I guess that's another repair that I'll have to figure out in the near future. Anyway, um, here's the check engine light right here. And we're going to watch that for flashing. So I'm going to depress this gas pedal five times really quickly and then we'll watch that uh, check engine light begin to flash so we can uh, watch closely and decode the signals that it gives us. Here is the brake and gas pedal, so let's just press this five times in a row. One, two, three, four, five. And I missed it here, but there we go. One, Two, 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 and that's it. All right, so our code is one, two, 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 and I'll show you how to look that up in a minute. Now this can get tedious and you have to pay close attention if you have a lot of codes stored, but fortunately for me, it appears that there is only one, court, uh, one code stored in this car. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what that code means. Here's a list of all the fault codes and I'll just highlight this one. Here's the code that we found. It was, let's see here, code 1222 means Lambda Control System Bank 1. The ECM has been unable to maintain Lambda which is the fuel mixture or fuel trim on bank one, so cylinders one through three of the engine. So that is the first three cylinders um, towards the front of the car. So um, right at the nose uh, where the BMW emblem is, 
uh, that would be cylinder one. And as you get closer to the dashboard here, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. So the cylinder closest to the dashboard would be uh, cylinder six. So here's our code. It is uh, one, two, two, two. And now is the time where you begin your diagnosis. So try to um, Google search that. Um, there's a bunch of different codes that you might have in your car that are different, or you might have multiple codes, um, which is probably more likely than not. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was interesting or helpful. If it was, um, let me know in the comments below, hit the like button, uh, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video.